I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll explore how do we solve a very interesting IBHL math question shared by one of my students. It is based on binomial theorem. You can always watch many similar videos from my YouTube channel. There are 16,000 free videos for you. And how do we get our questions? It is from our subscribers and students, correct? So these questions are very important for any test preparation. The problem here is, consider the expansion of 3 plus x squared to the power of n plus 1, where n belongs to positive integers. If coefficient of x to the power of 4 is 20,412, find the value of n. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. You can also email me on the given address globalmathinstitute at gmail.com for any help. Now let us try to understand how do we apply the formula of binomial expansion and solve this problem. In general, binomial expansion formula can be written as a plus b to the power of n equals to nc1 nc0 a to the power of n plus nc1 a to the power of n minus 1b plus nc2 a to the power of n minus 2 times b square plus so on, right? So the powers add up to n in this case, right? Last term will be ncn b to the power of n. In our case, as you see, we have a as 3, right? So let me write 3. b is x squared. However, instead of n, we have n plus 1. So this will modify the formula slightly. Replace all the n in ncr with n plus 1 cr, correct? So let's do that. So the first term will be n plus 1 c0. A is 3. So it'd be 3 to the power of n plus 1, right? Plus n plus 1 c1, 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1, which will be n. And now we get the term x squared to the power of 1. Next term will be n plus 1 c2, 3 to the power of n minus 2 times x to the power of n, sorry, n minus 1, sorry, not n plus 2. It will take away 1 from n, so n minus 1, and x square square, right? So when you add them up, you get n plus 1, correct? And that is what we are looking into, correct? And so on, right? That's why I'm not writing the last term. I already have the term which I need. We know that the coefficient of x to the power of 4 is 20,412. Now this is x to the power of 4, right? And what is the coefficient? That is the coefficient. Perfect. So now I can solve the question. So let's do it. So we can write down that n plus 1 c 2 3 to the power of n minus 1 should be equal to 20,412. Make sense? You see that? How simple it is, right? So once we know this, we can actually calculate the value of n. Now the difficulty here is that we need to do this without calculator. This is a very complicated uh, equation, right? Now, what is n plus 1 c2? So, let me rewrite that n plus 1 c2. Well, let's take it on the next page, okay? So, we have n plus 1 c2, 3 to the power of n minus 1, right? So, let's do it on the next page. So what we have here is n plus 1 c2, 
3 to the power of n minus 1 and that should be equal to 20,412, right? n plus 1 c2 is, let's expand, n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus 1, which will be n over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, is that okay? Times 3 to the power of n minus 1, and that is equal to 20,400. Does that make sense to you, right? Now, let's rearrange. We can multiply 2 on the other side, right? And here we have what? We have n plus 1 times n. And here we have times 3 to the power of n divided by 3, right? And this was divided by 2. Okay. So that is 3 to the power n minus 1 equals to 24, 1, 2. Perfect. To solve this, let's cross multiply hmm, and see what do we get. Now to solve this equation, let's take the numbers on the right hand side. So we have n plus 1 times n times 3 to the power of n equals to 6 times all this, right? So We'll do 6 times 2412. So we have n plus 1 times n times 3 to the power of n equals 2. So it's a big number. Uh, 6 times 2, 12, 2, 1, 6 times 1, 6 and 1, 7, 6 times 4, 24, 4, 2, and 6 times 2, 12. So we get that number with us. Now we need to figure out what value of n can satisfy this particular equation, right? So it is 12, 24, 72, and we have to solve this particular equation. So let's work out on factors of 12, 24, 72 on the next page. So now the idea is to write this particular number with 3 to the power of something, right? Then we can actually find the answer. You get the idea. So let's do it. So 12, 24, 72, let's write this number as powers of 3. So we have 12, 24, 72 as a number, right? Powers of 3, uh, to make it faster, let's divide by, by let's say, 9, right? So it will have less steps. So 9 times 1 is 9. We are left with 32. 9 times 3 is 27, means 54. 54, 9 times 6 is 54. 72 goes 8 times. 0, 8. Correct? Now again, let's divide by 9. So we get what? 9 times 1 is 9, 46. So 9 times 1 is 9. We're left with 46. 9 times 5 is 45. 10, 1, and 9, 15, 12. So if you add them up, we can still divide by 9. So let's go once more with 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 61. 61 means 9 times 6 will be 54. So we get with 72. So eight times. Now eight and one nine. So this is even number. We could actually divide this number by, we can divide by eight, right? So if I divide by eight, I get eight times two as 16 and 21 here, which is three times seven. So I have prime factorized this number 12, 24, 72. Look here. So basically, it could be written as what? So this could be written as 9, 1, 2, 3, means 3 to the power of 2, 4, 6, and 1, 7, right? So this is like 3 to the power of 7 times 7 and 8, right? So times 
7 times 8. Make sense? So this is 3 to the power of 7 times 7 times 8, right? So what was the expression? n plus 1 times n times 3 to the power of n, right? So let's rewrite this. So that should be equal to n plus 1 times n times 3 to the power of n. Now you can clearly see that the solution is n equals to 7. So if n equals to 7, we can satisfy this particular equation. You get the idea. So that is how we are going to find the value of n in this particular case. So our solution is n equals to 7. So this part is slightly tricky when we really factor out the terms and then relate with the equation what should be the answer. So that's the key to solve this problem without calculator. Perfect. Otherwise, you can do it trial and error. Substitute different values of n and see which one works best for you. And that could be another way of doing it, right? So alternate trial and error. So I hope with this, you learned the strategy to solve such a question. We first expanded the whole expression with n plus 1, simplified it, writing n plus 1 c2 in the form in the, n and then writing the term which we got as powers of 3 and finally we say well it works if i do n is 7 right that gives you the right result and that is how we found our solution we used factoring technique to get to the answer but you could use trial and error also i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and your suggestions if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can always send an email on the address given for more information. Thank you and all the best.